Welcome to Evening Prayer. I'm Pastor Vance Mortensen coming to you with a special evening prayer service that has been written in honor of two long-standing long families in the Racket Lake community and members of the Racket Lake Chapel. And I'm talking, of course, about the Mitchell family and the Bird family. Our service is on the chapel website. I'll give you that URL in just a minute. It's under a link called the Non-Denominational or Multi-Denominational Evening Prayer Service. If you click that link, there's just one document that will come up and you can follow along with us. So again, that's in honor of the Mitchell and Bird families of Racket Lake. Okay, the chapel website is www.racketlakechapel.org. Now, that's all one word, Racket Lake Chapel, and spell racket, R-A-Q-U-E-T-T-E. -E. That may be a little tricky for you. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you uh, are find yourself as appreciating these virtual community get-togethers that we have. We started these, as you know, during COVID years ago, and they've just continued. It's a way for our seasonal chapel to stay in touch with each other. So again, welcome. Thank you for joining. Let's begin. Our opening prayer. Gracious and loving God, as we gather together in this sacred moment of evening prayer, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and longing. Bless our time together as we seek to draw closer to you and to one another. May your presence be felt among us, guiding our words and our thoughts. Amen. Our first scripture reading is a, a short verse. This comes from Ephesians chapter 8, verse 18. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Our second reading is also a short piece of scripture. And we take this reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three gather together in my name, there am I with them. I reflect on this a little bit, as you can guess. There are two things that came out in both of these readings. And I'll touch just very quickly. First of all is prayer, of course. But the second is a qualifying aspect of prayer, and that is community prayer or praying together. So my question is, how many of you participate now or have participated in a community that uh, has prayer lists that keeps them current and they're read aloud at all of the community gatherings? That's a little bit different from personal prayer. Of course, we can pray a prayer list on our own, but there is something very special about praying together a list of people who are needing our prayers as a group. Prayer lists provide a special role in the spirituality and a sense of belonging to any faith community. They provide a way for us to share our joys, our concerns, and even news within our community. Praying a prayer list also provides a way to nurture, foster, nourish, uh, inclusivity, in other words, being able to include people that we might not uh, always include or even think to include, but they foster inclusivity, they uh, foster spiritual growth, they, sponsor, uh, they also help nourish uh, empathy that we have for one another, and just provide a follow-up with the health of the members of the, any faith community. Message coming out of these times is uh, we're all in this together. The people and the concerns that people in any faith community have seem to come alive and become more real and tangible when we pray them together as a, as a group. We learn that we are not alone as we invoke our Lord and his servants in our community to join us. Amen. Let's continue with our prayer service. We have a series of prayers. First of all, let us pray for peace. God of peace, we pray for peace in our hearts, 
in our homes, and in our world. Grant us the wisdom and courage to be agents of reconciliation and instruments of your peace. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, fill us and guide us in all that we do. Amen. And now a prayer for all people. Gracious God, we lift up all people to you, regardless of race, ethnicity, or creed. Help us to see the inherent dignity and worth of every individual and empower us to work together for justice, equality, and compassion. May your love encompass all humanity, uniting us as one family under your care. Amen. Now I'll pray for any who are suffering from illness, violence, and war. Merciful God, we pray for all who are suffering from illness, violence, and war. Comfort those who are sick and suffering. Bring healing to their bodies and peace to their minds. Strengthen those who are victims of violence and conflict and guide us in our efforts to build a world free from hatred and injustice. May your presence be a source of hope and healing to all who are in need. Amen. As you know, the Racket Lake Chapel keeps its little prayer list, its prayer box that we publish at the bottom of our Sunday blasts. Uh, Sunday blasts are also can be found on the chapel website on the very first page. Dear Lord, be with us as we enter this time of prayer. We have a special tragedy just today where young Michael has died. We pray for Michael's soul. We pray for his family and comfort as they prepare to say goodbye to Michael for the last time. We pray for healing for Debbie, for Joanne, Bill, Manuel, Dan, Joycelyn, Maggie, Liz, and Vance. We pray for all struggling couples. And we pray for peace in Ukraine and the Middle East. Lord, hear our prayers. Would you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now our concluding blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May we go forth from this time of prayer filled with renewed faith, strengthened in community, and empowered to be agents of love and compassion in the world. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer this week. May God bless you. May you have a peaceful night and a blessed week.